in the next five years, under the PM Research Fellowship Scheme, we will provide 10,000 fellowships for technological research in IITs and IISC with enhanced financial support. On 1st of February, during her financial budget, Finance Minister Nirmal Sitaraman has announced that for next five years, under PMRF Fellowship or Prime Minister Research Fellowship, Government of India will provide 10,000 fellowships for different PhD students at prestigious institutions like IITs and IIC Bangalore to conduct technology research and to enhance the R&D of our country. Hello, welcome back. Welcome back to another video of my channel. I am Kishal. I hope you all are doing well. First of all, a very happy Saraswati Puja to all of you. And I hope from the thumbnail and from the intro scene, you know the topic of today's video. Yes, I will be talking about PMRF 2.0. Uh, so, you know, for last couple of months, there was a lot of speculation about whether PMRF 2.0 will be starting or not. Uh, I have also made a video where I have shown you that I made a RTI to government of India, but there was no concrete answer I received from the ministry. Uh, so I was also not sure whether PMRF 2.0 or the second version of PMRF will be resumed or not. But after the announcement that finance minister did last weekend, it's clear that PMRF 2.0 will be resumed soon. Now, there are a lot of questions, you know, that people are talking about in LinkedIn and social media. And I have received also a lot of questions from many of my subscribers that when it will get resumed, who can apply for PMRF 2.0, whether uh, science students also can apply for PMRF 2.0 because uh, in her speech, Nirmala Sitaraman, Madam has told that uh, it is only for technology research. So whether science people can also apply for PMRF 2.0, uh, what will be the new scholarship structure? So there are a lot of questions people are talking about in social media and I have received a lot of questions also. So in this video, I am going to share my thoughts about all of these questions. And I overall, I will be discussing about PMRF 2.0, how that will be the scheme, uh, who all can apply for it, how will the scholarship structure. So everything will be there in this particular video. So if you are interested and know in detail about it, please stay tuned in this video till end. And before starting the video, as I always say, if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button. And if you are new to this particular channel please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you get all the notifications regularly without further delay let's start into today's video now how pmrf 2.0 will look like and when it will get resumed so it's clear and obvious that it will be it will be resumed very very soon and i personally believe that from the next admission session that is from the autumn or july session uh, in 2025 from then it will be again resumed and student can apply for pmrf fellowship now here is here one thing that you have to notice that uh, Nirmal Sitaraman has mentioned in her talk that there will be 10,000 research fellowship that will be given under PMRF fellowship for next five years. That means on average per year, 2,000 PMRF fellows, uh, fellowship will be given to uh, different PhD students from different branches. And as you know that PMRF fellowship is granted twice in a year, once during this autumn session or July session, and another one is the winter session or spring session. So on average, 1,000 PMRF fellows will be given to all these uh, different institutions in every session. And it's a huge number. I think this number has increased a lot. Uh, last time it was around 500 or 600 PMRF that is given to different institutions per, uh, per, per selection session. But this time it's thousands per time. And it's a huge number. And I personally feel that will actually benefit the other institutions than these top IITs and ISC Bangalore. The other institutions like other NITs or middle tier IITs or lower IITs, they are now P you know, PMRF intake will be increasing. Uh, because, you know, last time what you used to see that, you know, these top IITs and ISC, they are getting the most number of PMRF fellows. But as the number of, uh, you know, PMRF intake has increased now, so most likely, you know, you know in the middle tier IITs or, or, or NITs or other institutions, they also have now more number of PMRF fellows uh, who will be doing their PhD from those institutions. Next important question is who all can apply for PMRF 2.0? Because in her speech, Nirmala Sitanaman has mentioned that these 10,000 research fellowship under PMRF will be given to institutes like IITs and IIC Bangalore to conduct research in technology. Now, here is the catch because she has explicitly mentioned about technology. Now, people are asking this question that whether it will be only for technology people, that means it is only given to IITs, NITs and ISC Bangalore or it will be applicable for science students as well. Because last time when PMRF 1.0 was there, the last version of PMRF, 
even science people also can apply whoever is doing their phd in physics chemistry they also can apply for pmrf and they have also you know have given the grant of pmrf fellowship even institute like you know indian institute of science education and research like iser we also a uh, few iser was there who was a uh, pmrf granting uh, institute and if students are doing their phd in different isers they are also given pmrf fellowship so here the people are asking this question that whether it will be only given to technology people or it will be given to both technology and science people frankly speaking this is a confusion and i also don't have any concrete answer to this particular question but i personally feel that it will be given to both uh, technology students as well as science students because you know scientific research is also very important we shouldn't only focus on the technology part in science also there are a lot of research is happening in chemistry physics and mathematics these department so i personally feel maybe uh, uh, nimla sitaraman in her speech mentioned about technology but this 10000 research fellowship that you on average 2000 research fellowship or pmr fellowship per year uh, it will not only be allotted allotted to the technology people it will also be allotted to the science people whoever is doing their research in different disciplines of sciences next question is what will be the criteria of selection for pmrf 2.0 and whether old students who have already joined phd for last two years they also can apply for pmrf 2.0 so as you know that pmrf was on hold for last two years and within these two years of period there are many phd students they have joined different iits and iisc in different discipline of technology and science now they are asking this question that when this pmrf 2.0 will be resumed whether they also can apply for it now this is also you know people are not sure about because until unless the official order will come up and official guideline will come up from pmrf uh, it's very unclear whether they also can apply for uh, pmrf 2.0 uh, so for last one year who have who have joined uh, different institutions they can still apply as a lateral entry because uh, you know there is a provision that within 12 months of your phd joining you can apply for um the lateral lateral entry for for pmrf fellowship but whoever has joined before that i mean in 2023 whoever has joined whether they are eligible for this particular fellowship or not that i am also not sure about um you know it will be very unfair to them if they are not allowed to apply i personally feel there will be some provision that they also can apply probably they can't apply as a direct candidate for for a lateral candidate they also can apply uh for this pmr fellowship but yeah until unless the official uh, order will come or the official guideline will come it's very hard to uh talk about it and the next question is what will be the selection criteria again this is also not clear until unless we will be getting a official order or official guideline it's very hard to comment that what will be the selection criteria or or eligibility criteria for applying for pmrf so typically what are the cgp cgp requirement or what are the publication record a letter of recommendation that to be needed that guideline is already there in the website you can go and check it out but i personally feel that there will be some changes obviously for pmrf 2.0 and that will be coming up soon and that will be reflecting in the website and whenever we will be getting that guideline we'll be talking about it finally people are talking about what will be the new stipend or scholarship that will be given to pmrf fellows under pmrf 2.0 so there is a lot of speculation about the stipend will be increased and many people are talking that the scholarship will be increased to 1 lakh rupees per month so i personally believe that this much of increase will not happen uh, because you know previously what pmrf uh, fellows used to get is that for the first two years so if you are a direct candidate so four years pmrf will be getting pmrf fellows will be getting first two years will be getting 70000 rupees per month third year will be getting 75000 rupees per month and the fourth year we will be getting 80000 rupees per month so this was the you know standard setup for for the last pmrf or pmrf 1.0 so i personally believe that from 70000 to 1 lakh this 30000 increase that will not happen because if you look into the regular scholars uh, scholarship it got increased to 5000 that is from 32 to 37 and 37 to 42 so this much only has increased for regular fellows so it's highly unlikely that for pmrf fellowship it will increase till 30000 i also don't believe that the salary or scholarship will be increased from this standard setup of 70000 for two years 75 and 80000 rupees i don't believe that the salary or scholarship will be increased but yeah even if it increase maybe 4 to 5000 rupees in each slab it will be getting increased but again for that also we have to wait for the 
uh, final official order to come and then only you know everything will be getting cleared so yeah that's it guys that's it about this video pmrf 2.0 finally is getting resumed it's a great news for all the students they are aspiring to do their phd from indian institutions and i personally feel that you know it will motivate many people to come for phd again uh, because I have seen people, you know, uh, who are working in some industry probably, they sometimes don't get any motivations uh, when they see that they will be only getting 35,000 rupees or 40,000 rupees as a regular scholar. This PMRA fellowship gives them a lot of motivations that I'll be earning much also uh, parallelly doing research. So I, that's why I personally feel that PMRF is very much necessi necessary for Indian uh, education system so that you know people can get a motivation to do research from different IITs and IIC Bangalore. But still I know there are a lot of confusion that is there, a lot of questions that is there. And you know when the official order will come, we can we can talk in more detail about those those questions. But whatever I think about those questions personally, I, what I feel about it, I have shared in this particular video. So let me know your comment uh, on this topic also and if you have any personal particular question that also you can ask me in the comment section I will try to answer them. And if you like this video don't forget to like it and share this video with other people. And if you are new to this particular channel please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you get all the notifications regularly. That's it about this video I will be meeting in this video until then bye.